Worldwide LP. Yeah. All right, yo, so we just gonna get straight into this one. We got this video showing somebody getting stabbed and then them turning around, grabbing the AK-47 and busting shots. A lot of these videos usually don't just be the surveillance. It'd be like the like news people talking or it'd be somebody giving their opinion or something like that. And when I seen the title, I was like, yo, this can't be no real footage. So if this does show the full footage, then I'm gonna go at finding these. I was gonna say I needed a video finder, but I honestly go through YouTube myself. And when it do come a time where I don't have the time to look up videos, I am gonna need somebody to go ahead and find videos like these for me I can go ahead and react to because it be some crazy stuff going on in the world. And YouTube always been one of those platforms that you can go to and see some crazy shit before they hurry up and take it down. So this was just posted, I wanna say, a few days ago. So let's get into it. Scenes of violence on the streets of the Emerald City. The spotlight has obtained video of a wild stabbing that led to an AK-47 style rifle being fired in a Seattle homeless camp. Take a look as a- At a homeless camp? This, wait, what? <laughs> this going on at a homeless camp. The homeless people got knives, they got AK-47s, man. They need, they might as well just have a house. What you doing? You out here in the tent, man, with probably like $5,000 worth of weapons, man. That make no sense van pulls up to drop off food for the people who are living in tents on 13th Street, just north of Dearborn, between the Goodwill and Public Storage Building. The guy bending over to pick up food is David Charles Burchak. His wife has been having issues with a woman named Arius Beckett Sumpay, better known on the streets as Lady Gangster. Oh, she a cutie. She a cutie. Was she out here stabbing people? I ain't gonna lie, that made me wonder even more. She crazy and she cute. But no, at the same time, that'd be the ones that'll stab your ass if, you, <laughs> if she ain't happy with you or you cheat on her or something. So. But yeah, she is cute though, man. And it'd be those ones that be going down for some crazy shit and they be in jail for fucking 10, 15 years with a girlfriend, come out stocky, fat, whatever, and be dykes out here. Gangster. Apparently, Burchak told Lady Gangster she needed to move her tent. Instead, she sneaks up behind him and shanks him repeatedly with a oh. knife, lacerating his liver, intestines, oh. spleen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That happened too fast. Hold on. She needed to move her tent. Instead, she sneaks up behind him and shanks him repeatedly Damn. with a knife, lacerating his liver, intestines, spleen, and severing a tendon in his arm. Lady Gangster then casually heads up the stairs that leads towards 12th Avenue and the Navigation Center. And they let Shorty just walk away, though, and just casually jog up the steps like she ain't just stab a nigga. Man, she, and then when she walked up on him, she tried to act like she was going to keep walking and hurried up, got him real quick, and walked away. That ain't her first time stabbing nobody. She didn't done that before. Meanwhile, Burchak runs to his tent and grabs his rifle, managing to squeeze off a round before succumbing to his wounds. At that point, Man. his friend, who is yet to be identified, takes the AK-47 style rifle and peels off a series of shots at Lady Gangster as she scampers up the hill. This is all happening at 10 a.m. on a Monday. Adam, who told us about the ordeal, was asleep in the red tent you see there at the bottom <laughs> left of your screen. <laughs> He was asleep. He was asleep talking about that's who told him about the whole ordeal, man. That nigga was not asleep. He was peeking through the tent, trying not to get shot and stabbed. This so he was watching the whole thing. How you know what happened if you were asleep? See what I'm saying? This morning I woke up and literally two feet from my head, somebody got stabbed and someone took an AK-47 to the air four times. I mean, I'm terrified. He eventually pops out to get some food. Meanwhile, Burchak's friend stashes the rifle back in Burchak's tent, where his wife tries to play keep away from the police, forcing them to get a warrant to access the tent. Man, what, they had to get a tent warrant? So what do you, I mean, how do you, how does that work? So the tent really be your residence though? Like, can you get mail to your tent? Like, how does that work? If they got to get a, a warrant to enter your tent, then that means it's your residence. These people that be homeless on the West Coast is a whole nother kind of homeless, man. Because homeless in Cleveland, Ohio is not where you comfortable and you can post the nah. The homeless people here, they walking around. They hardly got a place. They make places out of places. They ain't got no tents, you know what I'm saying? That's great even though they can see the rifle clear as day through the mesh of the tent. Cops get a judge to issue a warrant for both Burchak and Lady Gangster's tents. Burchak's wife then bites one officer and scratches another, drawing blood. Police eventually <laughs> seize the AK-47 style rifle and two bolt action. See what I'm saying? They got all of these in a the tent. 
So y'all homeless, but y'all got guns out the ass. AK-47s, rifles. <sighs> guns. Lady Gangster, who stands out because of that huge neck tattoo, is still on the lam. This isn't her first run-in with the law. She yeah, that's another thing about having neck tattoos, too. I got them, so I know. Neck tattoos make you stand out. When you got neck tattoos, you really can't be doing nothing. A lot of places got cameras nowadays, so if you do anything, it's most likely going to be seen by something. And no matter how much you may want to cover up, if you let any of your face or your neck show and they see a tattoo, you can kind of compare it to them and be like, oh, yeah, that's the same person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hand tattoos, finger tattoos, all that. They look at all that. If you tat it up, don't be doing no crimes. Get a job. Do some other shit. Do tattoos. Because I'm telling you, if you do a crime, they, nine times out of ten, they're going to catch you. Is already on a felony no bail warrant for escaping community custody after being convicted of another stabbing in 2019. Now she's got a half million dollar warrant for her arrest for this assault case that she's charged in. It's just another day on the mean streets of Seattle with shootings, stabbings, and, and biting. Stay warrant. safe. 10% of 500,000, 50,000. She gonna need 50,000 to bond out. And if she homeless, I know she ain't got that 50,000, so she gonna be in jail for a minute. They already know who it was. She ain't got money for a lawyer. They gonna appoint her a public attorney that's gonna set her up for the wool anyway. She gonna end up going down for that. You can't let your anger get to the point where you are killing people. Cause you know, if you got a knife and you stabbing somebody multiple times, it's a possibility that they can die. And if you're not thinking like that, you're just stupid. You're moving crazy. As far as me go, I'm Worldwide LP. Reaction videos posted daily. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to support the channel. You heard? Worldwide LP. Yeah.